KR Technical Services for Decarbonization. In this presentation, we will first briefly review the impact of the EEXI and CII, then give a short introduction to KR's preliminary EEXI and CII services, and finally explain you KR's GEARS program. The ship owners, managers, and operators of today's maritime fleet are facing a rising number of business challenges. Environmental and safety regulations are getting stricter, and public opinion requires a dramatic improvement of standards. For example, EEDI, EEXI, SIMP, CII. The pressures to improve fleet operations are increasing every day, with measures needed to cut fuel consumption and improve route planning. All chartered vessels need to fulfill the contractual requirements regarding their performance in terms of speed and fuel consumption. More efficient communication between vessels and ports is needed. For vessel operators, it can mean fuel savings and reduced emissions. For terminal operators and port authorities, better communications can result in less traffic congestion by reducing anchorage time. What is technically feasible and what are the cost-effective solutions? According to our preliminary review, the majority of pre-EEDI ships do not meet the EEXI requirements. Therefore, ship owners need to check the current status of EEXI for their ships as soon as possible and will need to explore alternative compliance measures to meet their target EEXI values. The options available to them include a reduction in propulsive power known as an engine power limitation. And if this is not enough to reach the required target, these ships will need to consider retrofitting energy efficiency technologies. In some cases for older vessels, scrapping may be the most cost-effective option rather than risk a stranded asset that cannot be traded profitably or achieve regulatory compliance in coming years, even if it is technically feasible. KR launched its Decarbonization Solutions Center to help our clients comply with their EEXI and CII requirements and to support ship owners and operators as they implement innovative technologies. KR now provides a variety of services in this area. The Decarbonization Ship R&D Center has four teams and 70 researchers. Each team is working on a different aspect of decarbonization, such as strategy for GHG issue, technology roadmap, improvement of CII, R&D for alternative fuel, biodiesel, ammonia, LNG, verification for EU MRV and IMO DCS, R&D on hydrogen, electric propulsion, renewable energy, LNG bunkering. KR has released web-based EEXI and CII software for our customers. This program was developed based on the results of MEPC 75 and is available for free. It includes user manuals and demonstration videos. This software will be updated in July to reflect the results of MEPC 76. In cases where ship owners cannot prepare for the EEXI and need technical support to develop a plan at the client's request, KR can calculate each vessel's power limitation and speed reduction. There will be cases where the adoption of an EPO will not be sufficient to achieve the mandatory EEXI. So the question will be, what is the optimum combination of EPL and energy saving devices in order for a vessel to remain both commercially viable and operationally safe? Working in collaboration with engineering companies, KR can assist ship owners to determine the appropriate performance improvement and to estimate the cost. To help clients, KR has released guidelines for air lubrication systems and wind-assisted propulsion systems. KR has developed detailed EEXI CII guidelines. We will continue to provide technical seminars for our customers' information and guidance. The diagram on the left shows the work process for the EEXI calculation. It consists of three parts, the preliminary EEXI calculation, engineering, and the installation and test. You can easily calculate the preliminary EEXI using KR's program. If this value is satisfied, then the EEXI technical file can be submitted to class. If the value is not satisfied, as discussed earlier, a cost-effective and simple first step could be engine power limitation. But chartering speed at this power level should be checked to see if it is acceptable or not. Another issue relating to engine power limitation may be vibrations, which should be reviewed carefully. Some vessels cannot be solved by only EPL or shaft power limitation. 
In these cases, energy-saving devices should be considered as a second countermeasure. These devices should be verified by C-Trial. In cases of type A ESD, numerical verification can be allowed instead of a model test or C-Trial. To sum up, ship owners need to understand the implications of an EPL and investigate whether investment in energy-saving devices will pay off. The ability of a vessel to apply an EPL reduction and still trade at charter party is a delicate balancing act in terms of meeting the regulations and remaining commercially viable. Considering the work required to ensure compliance for the entire fleet by the end of 2022 and the large number of vessels affected, there is already not enough time available for ship owners and operators. So we recommend you start planning for the new requirements now. This diagram shows a general timeline. The exact schedule depends on the ship company, engine maker and engineering company, etc. We can imagine three cases. Case one is that the attained EEXI does meet the required EEXI. It could take one month including calculation, preparation of EEXI technical file and class approval to achieve a new International Energy Efficiency Certificate. Case two is where the attained EEXI does not meet the required EEXI. The engineering work relating to the engine power limitation, including design, manufacturing, installation, could take six weeks. The total process to meet the required EEXI could take 11 weeks. Case three is the worst case scenario. In addition to engine power limitation and energy saving devices, the ship owner needs to consider engineering work and the installation period of ESD varies by category and type as shown. In addition, the dry docking schedule should be checked for Category A vessels, the total period will be from 6 to 10 months. For Category B, it will be from 11 to 15 months. We hope that ship owners and operators will be able to calculate the cost indirectly using this data. And then you can get a more detailed cost estimate from engine maker and engineering company. KR is involved in many retrofit projects. This is one example. In this project, DHMC designed and manufactured the rudder bulb and hull fit. Criso performed the model test and CFD analysis. KR conducted the eigenvalue analysis to check vibration alongside strength and fatigue analysis. The cooperation between the design company, research institute, ship owner and class society is important in order to complete this project successfully. This guideline applies to systems that provide additional ship propulsion using wind in addition to the main propulsion system. It focuses on two primary wind-assisted propulsion technologies, flattener rotors and wing sails. The guidelines provide the requirements for the installation and inspection of air lubrication systems on new build and retrofit ships. As mentioned, KR has developed detailed EEXI and CII guidelines. The guidelines will cover preliminary EEXI calculations including an overall flowchart for responding to EEXI detailed options for pre-EEXI improvement, documents for approval and survey, CII, KR technical service, and contact points. The KR Gears program provides monitoring for fuel consumption and operational data and generates a report automatically for EU MRV and IMO DCS, supporting the management of a ship's energy efficiency. The EEXI and CII functions have been added to provide a one-stop service for ship owners, managers and designers. This program also helps guide operators and technical superintendents to optimize vessel efficiency to improve the EEXI and get the best results for CII. You can use KR Gears program using KR eFleet or KR EDAS ID. If you don't have an ID, please send an email to this address and then we can issue a new ID for you. KR Gears EEXI program has three main functions. Ship particular to input the basic information. Ship speed input, if there is no speed power table, the speed calculation is calculated according to the alternative method provided by the MEPC. Finally, the calculation is done taking into account other correction factors, and the results are shown graphically demonstrating the attained EEXI and required EEXI. Now let's take a short look at our KR Gears EEXI demo video to demonstrate the points I have been discussing. KR Gear's EEXI program has three main functions. Ship Particular is where to input the basic information.
ship speed input, if there is no speed power table, the speed calculation is calculated according to alternative method provided by the MEPC. Finally, the calculation is completed taking into account all the other correction factors. Thank you for watching our video and our experts would be very happy to further answer any questions when you contact us via email or through our KR website.